tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Computer animation. Computer Started with animation. Like most of my tutorials, this one is totally useless, but it tells a story which you can use later. It combines the standard dynamics and the MASH world, and uh, I think it's quite fun. Let me try to, to show you what I mean. Let's create a NURPS sphere. It's here under NURPS and Surfaces. Or if you go to modeling, you find on the surfaces, no, oh, sorry, under create, you find anyway the um, NURPS primitives here is the sphere. We want it to be uh, looking a little bit uh, less spherical, so we right mouse click, go to control vertex, and we select the vertices in the middle and scale them down. So we can see basically what's up and down. And I uh, select the ones up here. And I scale them um, out so they get a little bit more pointy and like this just to give them some kind of different shape now uh, right mouse click assign a new material on our shader standard surface and I make this object slightly blue now uh, I will make it dynamic we need to go to FX and under FX you find the fields and solvers. It's uh, from the legacy part of the dynamics and I wouldn't actually call it legacy but uh, the N system has taken over in the last couple of years uh, but I think the fields and solvers still have their place because they are so lightweight and they make a direct um, simulation here. So we, uh, with the object selected, our NURBS sphere, which is slightly deformed now, will create a turbulence field that automatically turns it into an active rigid body, whatever that means. So now we have a turbulence working on that object. And that's all we're gonna do with it right now. We select it now and we go to the mesh entry which is under a, the FX as well and in this case usually I when I go to mesh I use this tab here and click this icon but this brings me the default settings and now I need different settings so here is the option box which we need now by default the geometry type is mesh we don't have a mesh here we have a NURB surface here so we go to instancer and apply and reset the settings and close. Now um, I have my objects here, 10 of them, which is the default in the distribute node. And uh, when I play the animation, the mesh does not animate anything currently. Uh, there's nothing, no turbulence or whatever in the mesh network, but uh, the mesh has the turbulence field coming with it. What it does not, and that's good that it does not do that is it doesn't move the objects into several directions because mesh wants the control over the object's position and the position currently is a, a linear distribution here uh, 10 pieces so now we can start playing with a distribute node um, and maybe instead of linear 10 we can try spherical and 30 so you have 30 of these objects now you can uh, use a random node let's do that mash and random and here is the randomness and now they're all rotating in a different axis but they have the dynamics of that turbulence field here I select the turbulence field now and I change the magnitude from 5 to 20 that makes the magnitude of the original much harsher and the same here it's much more turbulent now
let me go back to this object it's hidden that's our, our original object here and in order to see it properly uh, I hide the mesh instancer now just click on the mesh instancer which is basically the geometry here with its color I press H and I hide it and I select the sphere and I press shift H in order to unhide it where is it here now I create another sphere and I move it a little bit away from the previous one and make it smaller now I give it a new color this is gonna be red now I want this object to always be with that object so I select it it's the slave so to say and then I select the parent the master and then I uh, press the key P to parent that one to that one the selection order is important because I want this little sphere be a member of that motion here so when this thing is in a turbulent motion this should be following uh, you can find it right here on the parent or just press the key P what it does here you see in the outliner we have a NURB sphere now that's this one which we could give a different uh, name actually let's call this this the moon um, and what it does now is this so they both move together in the turbulence field and our moon has to follow so how about the moon circling around the original the blue one well that's easy but you need to think about the pivot that's the rotation when I rotate it now it rotates like this when I change the pivot which is the center rotation and translation point of that object uh, to another place then I can actually do a rotation around that object let's do this we need to press the key insert and then I can move the pivot I'm not moving the the sphere I'm moving the pivot right in here and in order to get it slightly asymmetrical I move it not directly here but over here and press insert again and then you see that I can rotate it around not only this axis but I can rotate it let's click here on the moon first node when I rotate this this parameter changes it's the y-axis here and uh, I can uh, keyframe it or t just type in equals three times frame I'm using the th number three because it makes it go a little bit faster than just frame enter and now I have a circling motion around the original and now I can hide this again H select the mesh instancer shift H and now I see our little moons turn up and together with the rest they will do a very nice job and since mesh is so powerful in terms of Ma handling masses of objects let's go to 300 so what we did in this lesson we created NURBS objects which usually are not compatible with a mesh world but using the instancer option in the mesh system we could move them all into the mesh system we created a planetary motion using parenting and moving the pivot of the moon and we have some turbulence in the in the in the scene the blue object follows a turbulence field and nothing else now it's time for depth of field and nice rendering and I'll leave you alone with this. Have fun. Bye-bye.